The Atene in Bangkok is a bit of an odd property. It's got the aesthetic of a grand European hotel, the type of place for jet setters and posh families on holiday, but its location near embassies and office buildings makes it an obvious spot for business travelers. But is the Atene the kind of luxury you're looking for? Hey, I'm JR, AKA The Tourist. Come with me inside and let's figure it out. First opened in 2000 as the Plaza Atene Bangkok, the hotel was renovated in 2015 and rebranded as the Atene Bangkok in 2017. Approaching 10 years, the hotel still feels quite new. The Atene is one of 22 Marriott branded hotels in Bangkok, one of several in Marriott's luxury categories. At its price point, it's a nice hotel, although nice in a way that feels specifically geared toward business travelers. I'll say more about this later. Having an understanding for the feel of a hotel is important when planning your travel. If you'd like to get a glimpse inside more five-star properties around Thailand, around Southeast Asia, and around the world, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post hotel tours, destination guides, and more. And I'm just getting started. Join me and we'll tour the world together. With that out of the way, let's go and have a look at the room. I booked an entry-level guest room with a king bed. Welcome to room 1114. The traditional aesthetic of the lobby continues in the room, and like the lobby, the room feels relatively new. The one thing that struck me was the size of the room. I wouldn't call it small, but it's certainly not a large one. For a solo business traveler, it's perfect. For a couple, it's fine. Traveling with a child, and you'll want to consider the next room category. For a business hotel, the desk is small and not ideally placed, but it does the trick. The bathroom, like the rest of the room, is not large, but it does the job. The sink in the bathtub could be a bit less plain, but for my own taste, too little is better than too much. That's the room tour. Now let's head to the fourth floor to see the pool, and I'll talk about whether this is the right hotel for you. The fourth floor of the Atene is home to the gym and the swimming pool. The gym was quite full at the times I went to film. As I like to respect the privacy of other guests, I did not get any usable shots. Also here is the View Poolside Bar and Restaurant, one of eight food and beverage outlets of the hotel. Stay tuned until the end and I'll walk you through the other hotel restaurants. This is one of the better Bangkok hotel pools that I've encountered in terms of both size and the ambiance but I can't say that it stands out among similarly priced hotels. Though to its credit, the Atene's pool does not try to fool you into thinking you're in some kind of tropical hideaway. The vibe here is definitely one of leisurely work trip, so keep that in mind. There is a nice little garden walk I'll show you in a moment. I'll use this time to speak a little about the hotel's branding. As I mentioned earlier, it was originally opened as the Plaza Atene Bangkok before becoming the Atene Bangkok, a luxury collection hotel. The luxury collection is one of six luxury brands under the Marriott umbrella. Of those six brands, four have hotels in Bangkok. 
and there are two luxury collection hotels, the other two train stops down Sukhumvit Road. Given the landscape and the abundance of choices, let's talk about whether this is the right hotel for you. This is the tourists' do's and don'ts. Do consider the Atene Bangkok if you are on business travel and need to be in the Phlong Chit or Lumphini area. For those on vacation, but who are trying to stick to a schedule of sites and excursions, the rhythm of a business hotel is sometimes quite helpful, so you may wish to consider this as well. And if you are a Bonvoy member with high status or sweet redemptions, the Atene is worth consideration. On the other hand, if you're a business traveler with a budget that could stretch, there are other very nice luxury hotels in the area at higher price points. Also, those traveling with larger families or younger kids may find the rooms too small and the vibe too hushed. Finally, if you're looking for a truly leisurely or more authentically Thai-inspired hotel, then do consider staying elsewhere. Let's end this video with a brief look at the hotel's food and beverage options. The Atene has a selection of fine dining outlets, all lined up on the third floor. Those include the Allium, serving European hot cuisine, Kintsugi Bangkok, a Japanese restaurant, and the Silk Road, featuring Cantonese fare. Also on this floor is the House of Smooth Curry, the hotel's Thai restaurant. Normally in Bangkok, I wouldn't eat anything aside from breakfast at the hotel, but I decided to have dinner at the House of Smooth Curry. As billed, the curry was pretty smooth, and the service excellent, but it was quite quiet, and not for those looking for a more lively dining experience. Heading down to the hotel lobby, we find the glass bar, a nice place to enjoy a drink at the end of the day. And finally, just beyond the glass bar, is the Rain Tree Cafe, the hotel's all-day restaurant in where breakfast is served. The breakfast buffet is quite extensive, and everything I tried was good. This is as good a place as any to end our look inside the Atene Bangkok. If you've enjoyed the video or found it helpful in planning your Bangkok vacation, please hit the like button and help others to find the video too. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future videos.